Well, I finally got my two little fountains set up. It's been a very cold spring, and it's still springtime until the 20th of this month, when uh, the summer of 2021 officially starts. It's been very cold in the early part of spring, not a lot of rain, and also turned just like somebody threw a switch to very, very hot and still no rain. It's a bad year. I kind of think that if something like this doesn't wake up people to believe in climate change, nothing will. Um, here's my little waterfall. I love fountains. These are, of course, fake fountains. They, they look nice. They add a little bit. My shade garden under my catalpa tree is very lush, <laughs> surprisingly, with as little water as it's had. Um, I'm watering it now. My catalpa tree is getting ready to bloom. One or two blossoms are showing. They're very fragrant, by the way. I really love my catalpa tree. It's a big one. And uh, let's see. Here I got the hose underneath the ferns kind of spreading water out. I mean, this will take a lot of water. And, you know, my home water system isn't uh, as robust as I would like it to be, but it's, it's adequate for now. But like I say, the shade garden really, really looks nice, um, I have to say. Um, pretty soon, uh, the hostas will be blooming. So that's about it. Uh, like I say, it, uh, it's a shame it's such a drought, but I'll, I'll cut this video off here. And the catalpa tree is blooming. With the lack of water we've had, I don't know how it's going to do. They're very fragrant. A little fountain in the distance. And like I say, the shade garden so far is doing okay, but I got to keep watering it because uh, if this drought continues, this thing is going to just dry up. And it's pretty hard to keep ahead of it. I allowed this catalpa tree to grow like this just so I can enjoy the, uh, the times when it blooms. Uh, if you cut it too far up where it's way above your head, I allowed it to go right down to the, just like a weeping tree, <laughs> right down to the ground. It's, it's, of all the things I have, I think this tree is among my favorite. And uh, they're, they're wonderful trees, they make lots of oxygen. People should always keep that in mind. I've tried to give away several of the babies from this tree and I've given one or two away, but Unfortunately, I can't, I can't find as many takers as I have little ones growing up. So, that's about it. <laughs>